Whether you're camping, overlanding, or just without the power to get things done, we have just the thing for that in today's Deep Dive Review. You might know the brand BioLite for their portable stoves, fire pits, or lanterns, but today we're getting hands-on with their newest offering, the Base Charge 1500 Power Station. For those of you who aren't familiar with a portable power station, think of it as power when you're on the go. How much power? Well, we'll get to that in a minute, but it gives you the ability to have access to power in the form of an AC plug, USB, or micro USB whenever you need it and find yourself off the grid. So I guess the more apt question is, why would you want one? When you're camping and don't have a hookup, this has power to spare. If you're overlanding and don't want to drain the truck battery, here's your answer. Now, if your power goes out and you need to save the freezer, base charge all the way to the rescue. The Base Charge 1500 has 1,521 watt hours of power from high powered lithium ion batteries. It has a maximum output of 1200 watts with a 2400 watt surge capability. Now there's a ton of connections available, including AC, DC, DC barrel, and a USB A, USB C, and C power delivery. Now charging devices on the power delivery jack means that you can get up to 70% faster charging when compared to a standard five watt connection. In a minute, I'm gonna show you real case studies that we've done, but first let's walk through the unit itself. There's a display button on the upper left that turns on and off the informational display, and there's a whole lot of information on this screen. On the left side, there's a report of how many hours you have until it's empty based on the current draw of power that you're using. This is a live view and it auto updates when you plug and unplug new devices or when a device that's plugged in draws more or less power. In the middle, there's a battery charge indicator that shows the percentage charge that the battery currently has. On the right, there's a number for input watts and output watts, as well as total watt hours used on the bottom of the display. There's a button on the right side that will display the watt hours used or can also reset that information if you'd like to start from scratch. There are three buttons that control the many inputs on the front of the unit. There's a button for DC, USB, and AC, and they simply toggle on and off each set of outlets. You can insert a plug into any section, but if the button is turned off, no power will flow. Now this is important to remember if you're in a rush and go to plug in a device without looking, because without this button being clicked, you'll come back and find that you never got a charge. Now there is a handle on each side that makes the base charge easy to move around, but these handles also double as the vents to keep the unit cool. Now here's what each section of charging looks like. Starting with the DC area, there's two barrel charging ports and a carport output. The USB charging area has two USB-A ports and two USB-C ports. The AC section has three charging ports and the power delivery port is standalone and it uses a USB-C adapter. The solar panel and charging port is located on the lower left of the unit and it can accept up to four solar panel 100 units at a time, which can fully charge this unit in as little as four hours. Now these are new from BioLite as well, and they're designed for you to be able to generate power no matter where you are. Now for our real life tests, we wanted to see how the base charge would hold up to our everyday lives. We started by using the base charge to power our frozen slushy machine at an event for 125 youth. Now, instead of running 100 feet of extension cord, we plugged the machine right into the base charge and it enabled us to make 85 slushies over a three hour period with power to spare. Now, next we plugged in our portable A smoke pellet grill into the base charge for a rib cook and it powered our grill for over six hours without breaking a sweat. 
Pellet grills need the most power during startup and then move into a more power friendly upkeep mode once the fire is going. So it really didn't have a problem over the six hour cook with this unit. We have four baseball and softball games every weekend right now. And the base charge has been the envy of every parent as we use it to power our refrigerated cooler to keep drinks and team snacks cold through eight hours of 95 degree weather. Now there's also the possibility that we brought a fan as well and plugged it into the base charge, which was a big hit with the players in between games. Now with our jobs, we do quite a few shoots on location and the base charge has come in handy for getting out and still being able to have the power we need. From laptops to location lighting to the numerous batteries that we need to charge, we haven't yet run out of power when we've needed it. Now while you're thinking about not running out of power, think about this. You have kids, you're on a road trip, and the tablets are about to die. Now, you and I both know the chaos that's about to ensue, but not if you have the base charge in the van and cables sitting at the base of every seat. That's what I call a parenting win. Now, what about when you're camping off the grid, but you still need to run a CPAP to get some sleep? What about a white noise generator to keep the cicadas quiet or a fan to stop the beads of sweat running down your legs? Even with all three of those things pulling at their maximum, we didn't have any problem getting through the night with the base charge. Now what about those times when you're down at the barbecue competition and you just can't rely on consistent power, but you have thermometers that need power? You can plug seven thermal work signals into the base charge for a total of 28 probes that will run all week long. Now, maybe it's the power going out and you're worried about the freezer or the fridge. If you're anything like me, there's more money in meat in my freezer than this device costs. So having one of these around to protect my frozen assets just makes a ton of sense. Now, even when we're working on building projects like the outdoor kitchen and we need to charge our Milwaukee batteries on the go, the base charge is our favorite way to get the juice we need to get the job done. Now I could go on and on about the fun that we've had with the base charge over the past few weeks, but it really all boils down to one key element for me. The BioLite Base Charge 1500 is simply power wherever I need it. It's peace of mind for emergencies, power for camping and travel, and convenience for work and projects. Besides, it's the ultimate flex at the ball diamond, bringing creature comforts for the team. Now, if you're interested in the Base Charge 1500, you can check the current price by clicking the link in the description below. Now, if you click our link and decide to make a purchase, you will support our family at no cost to you and keep the videos just like this coming. Now, if the outdoors is your playground and you like to cook, please consider subscribing to our channel. We review the products of the outdoor space and we're here to help you make educated decisions before you spend your hard earned money. Now we're on all of the social networks as well. So if you wanna see behind the scenes content and know about sales in the outdoor world, give us a follow on your favorite. I'm David from the Barbecue Lab and I can't wait to see you next time.